everyone and welcome back to Beauty by Maria. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like this so I know that you like the content. And please continue to watching to find out what my uh, Mary Kay empties are and why I just love the Mary Kay skincare line just in general. It's amazing. So stay tuned for that and thank you for tuning in. Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna start laughing at me, but I kid you not, I use every single last drop possible from my Mary Kay products. And like when I say like I use every last drop, I'm not kidding. So uh, <laughs> I have the Mary Kay 41. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. The, four, the Mary Kay 4-in-1 cleanser, I use the normal to dry. Okay, this is a brand new one. I just opened this up a couple days ago. Here is my empty and you're like, what the heck happened? I actually cut the bottle. I cut it in half. So like you see it here. Um, actually, I cut a lot more to it. Um, and basically there's just so much product that's like in the actual container so you want to make sure you get every last drop so just the you know something to think about and if you have any sort of like tubing packaging like this cut it open when you think that you don't have any more left i'm telling you there's so much product left in those in those packaging like you're just leaving money on the table so do not waste your money make sure you use every single last drop so that is the mary Kay four in one cleanser so that is completely empty the next one that I constantly use is the micellar water. This is completely empty. Um, I have a brand new one open here. I cannot stress enough how much I love this product. Um, after I work out in the morning or if I walk my dogs or whatever the case may be, I actually use this, uh, clean my uh, face off. You don't even have to rinse it off. You just clean your face off and you can just use your moisturizer and then you're good to go for the rest of the day, okay? Um, you can put your makeup on as, as you would like. So Mary Kay Micellar Water, if you have not tried it yet, highly recommend that. Um, so that is that one. The next empty that I have that I use all the time is the Soothing Eye Gel by Mary Kay. And this is so, so good. I cannot even describe it. Um, especially when I have like my migraines or I'm getting a headache. Um, I actually put it underneath my eyes and it's just such a nice cooling sensation. And then on top of it, like I put like an eye mask on, like icy mask, so that helps out a lot. But basically what I do is I put this in the refrigerator so it's nice um, and cool. And it is just beautiful. But as you can see, I have used the entire jar up. Like this is my go-to product. I absolutely love this. And what I love about it, it's glass. Like it's really nice quality packaging. And I hope that Mary Kay never gets rid of this because I will be very sad. So that is the eye soothing gel. That's one of my other empties. Um, one that I'm almost empty and I just decided to go ahead and include it is my eye makeup remover. This thing is amazing. It's oil free. Um, you just shake it up to activate it and basically that is it. A little goes a long way. You can use a cotton ball or you can use, you know, um, a, you know, like a little mask remover. I tend to use this because it's just, you know, more environmentally conscious and all that stuff, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, so I use this for my eye makeup remover. I use a micellar water to clean my face. Then I use a four in one cleanser to do the rest of my face, which is great. Again, you don't have to do the micellar and the four in one cleanser. You can just do the micellar or vice versa, but I just, the micellar water, I just can't stress enough like how awesome this is. Like just like a nice refresher like in the morning when you're getting ready um, and at night when you're just doing your night, your night time routine, it's just awesome. Um, the next thing that's almost empty but not quite is my age minimizing 3D day cream that I use. And again, once it gets to the point that I think that I've gotten every last drop, I'm going to cut it like I did my <laughs> normal to dry uh, skin night cream 3d and i forgot to bring out the bottle of this but basically it's the same size as this um 
and I just use this during the night and then this is during the day. They have one that has SPF, I think 25 or 30 to that. And I think it's great. I just like this one better because, you know, I work from home and this is just a lot easier for me. Um, I'm typically not outside as much. Um, so yeah, and plus I, you know, I use the CC cream. So the CC cream has SPF 15. Obviously you should want to use more if you're going to be an extended amount of time. Um, so that's that. And my next almost empty is the Volume Firm Eye Cream. Absolutely love this stuff. Again, I'm going to cut it open when I think the last drop is done and so I can make sure I get every little last drop of this product. The really cool thing about this, it has this nice uh, applicator on the top. You guys could see that. There you go. Um, and you can just do it this way. I like just to use my fingers and just like tap, tap, tap underneath. I do this, I use this day and night when I'm prepping my skin. Um, you can also put this in the refrigerator and it makes it nice and icy cold. Um, it's not metal, it's more like plastic-y. Plastic, plastic um, however, it does the job, it does the trick. So if you prefer to do that to reduce the poofiness under your eyes, you can totally do that. The next thing that is in my empties, it should come to no surprise to anybody, is the Clinical Solutions uh, Hydrator. And I got rid of the um, lime reducer because I was empty on that. So I have a full bottle that is brand spanking new. It's actually, I'm always halfway done. This one's completely empty. I have another one that's opened up, um, but I just cannot stress how amazing this product is. Like this is just like, I love it so much. <laughs> uh, the same with the lime reducer. I wish I would have done like before and after photos of those two products before I started using it versus after, because I'm telling you, it is a miracle worker. Um, especially now in the summertime, if you're out in the sun for a very long time and like at night you're doing your routine, you feel like your skin is a little bit drier than normal. Um, you can also use this during the winter time with like your skin tends to dry out a little bit more. Um, highly recommend this and the lime reducer, just wonderful products in my, uh, my humble opinion. Uh, and then the last but not least is the pore minimizer. So I use this to minimize my pores obviously, and it is a airless pump, which is nice. So you actually do get the last little bit of product out of here. I wish more of the products of Mary Kay would use that type of technology, but they don't, but that's totally fine. I'll just use my own cutting thing and that's totally fine. I'll do that. I'll continue to do that because I want to save everything. <laughs> use every single drop and don't leave. And I just don't want to leave money on the table, right? Like you work hard for that money and all that stuff and you're spending on good quality products. And these are tend to be like, you know, it's a little expensive unless you're like a consultant, you can get it half price, right? So um, if you're just like a regular consumer and this just goes with any other product out in the market, it doesn't have to be Mary Kay, it's any other product with that has this type of packaging, cut it open. I do that with the foundations too. I cut it open, I cut it in half and you know, put it in a Ziploc baggie so I can use it. Is that, I don't know, I'm not a cosmetologist. Okay, I'm a makeup enthusiast. So all I'm saying is, Save your money, use like every last drop before you go ahead and buy some more. That's all I'm saying. It's an easy thing to do, right? So those are my Mary Kay empties for my skincare routine that I've been using. I use these day in and day out. Um, it's my go-to products that I go to. Um, if I would have to recommend any of these, and I mean, I would recommend all of these obviously, but you know, if you're on a budget, I really would probably recommend the micellar water um, to like clean your face, right? And if you don't like the micellar water, obviously do the th the four in one cleanser. Mary Kay does have like a bar if you want to do like a bar of soap. Look, the bottom line is, if you're using any kind of skincare, right? Make sure you're cleansing your face. If they have a toner in that line, use the toner to clean off your face, right? That's kind of equivalent to like the micellar water typically or whatever to remove all the dirt. And then use a moisturizer. You are going to see such a huge difference, not only in your skincare and how your skin looks, but also in your uh, makeup 
routine, like skincare routine, right? So like you're hydrating your face, you're like plumping all those like little lines and stuff. They're like, boo, I got some water in my face. You know, like I'm hydrated now. So you're gonna see such a tremendous improvement on your applications of your makeup. Um, you'll also see tremendous improvement on your skin kit, like just overall skin. Now, obviously some people have, do have some medical conditions that they cannot help with what they're, you know, skin breakouts may happen. So I completely understand that. And you know, it does, this rule does not apply to everybody, okay? But for the most part, the majority of the people out there, I'm telling you, it makes such a big difference when you prep your skin with skincare, like wash your face, use a cleanser, use a moisturizer, and then go ahead and do the rest of your makeup routine. And then let me know down in the comments if you guys do see a difference or not. So I just a recommendation, highly recommend it. I know I've seen a huge difference because I used to not do that. Now I do do that, um, been doing that for the last few years now. And it, again, it makes a tremendous difference. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, but let me know your thoughts, right? So try it yourself. If you don't like it, um, let me know. Maybe I'm completely off base here. So thank you so much guys for tuning in and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.